Your Honor, if you please, uh, I do have instructions to apply for bail. Any objections, Prosecutor? Your Honor, the state objects to the accused being released on bail. This is ridiculous. I mean, Your Honor, this man is a member of parliament and an assistant minister who's been charged with a bailable offense. I mean, I cannot fathom the basis of this prosecutor's objection. He should be out there building the nation and not rotting in some remand. Your Honor, what he is in society does not matter. He is accused of the violent crime against women and is still intimidating potential witnesses by threatening them with dire consequences. He if is... released, he will impede the ongoing investigations. Your Honor, he's innocent until otherwise proven guilty. I mean, in the meantime, he should not be denied his freedom. I mean, based on some wild and substantiated allegations. I object to the councils, the language the council employs. What does he mean by wild? I have had enough of that. Your Honor, before you make your ruling, please consider that this man has no reason to run or hide. He will avail himself for all the mentions and the hearings until he's proven innocent of all the charges leveled against him. That's so easy for the council to say. This court acts on concrete evidence. Save for the allegations from the bar by the prosecutor. It has not been shown that the accused has been intimidating witnesses. And prosecution must have finalized investigations before accusing him. Therefore, bail is set at one million shillings. Your Honor. I have made my ruling. You can appeal to the High Court if you so wish. I'm looking to a speedy trial in this case, seeing as he's needed to perform his parliamentary duties. Can we hear the matter on the 16th next month? Is that date okay with both of you? That's fine with me. 16th is too close, Your Honor. I mean, I need adequate time to prepare. 16th it shall be. done for my constituents. This is the reward I get. Don't worry. Your day in court will come and you'll be vindicated. For now, let me just worry about the processing of the bail, okay? Call my bodyguard and my right-hand man. Tell them to process the money right away. I've got places to go and things to do. Then that will be fast then, yeah? She will pay for this. She will regret it for the rest of her life. Take it easy. We will see who will have the last laugh. She had it coming. Pardon me? Are you saying what I thought you said? Do women ever know what they want? told you work through all the weekend. Yep. I know at times like this you feel the weight of doubt hanging heavily on your conscience. Yes. You know, you can go ahead with that information. He practically admitted to raping her. He raped Pam Remo. Information which came to you in confidence. Information that is protected by the same law that protects the victim. What about the victim? What about Pam Remo? Joe. He raped her. Do your job. Seriously, I can't wiggle myself out of this one. 
Even if you came forward with a so-called confession, it wouldn't be admissible. It would be shot down, and you would be sued. And I would probably suck you. You don't mean that. I mean it. Now go ahead and do your job. I can't. You must. Besides, this case is ongoing. Who knows what the verdict will be? You're right. Compliments from Assistant Minister of Energy, Member of Parliament, Peter Kamomo. Mm -hmm. You must have really impressed this fellow. <laughs> yep. So did he do it? Everyone thinks he does, and so do I. If I needed your opinion, I would have asked for it. But right now, I've got some work to do, if you don't mind. If you need any help? Just ask her. Elsie, I'm doing my work. And I expect you to do the same. Hey, I was just... Please, I know. Just don't. Please don't. do this. I can't. Pam? No, I can't. I mean, seeing him br brings it all back. Angela, I begged him to stop. Shh. I begged him to stop. stop. I'm so sorry. I'm truly sorry. Uh, maybe it's my fault. No, huh? Pam, no, it's not your fault. I mean, if I hadn't insisted on seeing him, if, if, if I hadn't gone to his office, maybe all this would have... Stop it. Would you stop it? What he did to you was wrong. Whether you're in his house, his office, or even his bedroom. He had no right to do it without your consent. So stop blaming yourself for nothing. Because it's not your fault. It will never be your fault. Now, get hold of yourself. And let's put that bastard behind bars where he belongs. Will you sit next to me? Of course, yes. How are we doing? Not too good, but we'll be fine. Now, Angela, there is a possibility you will lose your job as the Constituency Development Projects Manager if you testify against your Member of Parliament. Are you ready for that? I'd rather spend the rest of my years jobless than let a rapist walk free. Good. Now let's get to a seat. You seem to have a change of attitudes. My bottle of brandy didn't do the trick. There is more where that came from. Listen, let's, let's just take this a day at a time, okay? I need to see a winning attitude in you. Did you rape her? There is no evidence to support that. You're not answering my question. What's the point 
or might you be referring to a conversation the other day? Advocate-client privilege, I believe. Anyway, you break the confidence. I will ensure you are disbarred. Are we clear? Mr. Joe Carrillo, don't mess with me. Is that a threat? Was it? I believe so. You do not intimidate me. In any way. You might be a member of parliament, but if My you... influence goes beyond parliament. Be wary, Mr. Carrillo. Be very wary. Do your job. Your threats do not mean anything to me. And I can withdraw from representing you. I don't think so. I pay you guys a lot of money, and that's what matters, isn't it? All right. Come in. Yes? How is your diary like? Back-to-back -back meetings. Why? Joe. Joe? What's going on? Is everything all right? Highly doubt that. I, I had been tamaking for, for almost one year looking for a job with no success. And my friend Angela Namo had just gotten a job with the Youth Development Fund. So I naturally asked her for help in order to help me to get a job. So you met your rapist through your friend? Mr. Carrier? Uh, yes, Your Honor. An objection? Uh, for what? The leading questions by the prosecutor. No, no, no objection. Go on. You were telling us how you met your rapist. Yes. Objection, Your Honor. He's just pushing it outright. He knows there's nothing that has been proven yet. Objection sustained. You were telling us how you met the honorable member of parliament. Yes, um, Angela invited me to a cocktail party, which was in honor of a successful project for the, for the youth fund. And she promised that she, she would introduce me to, to Peter Kimomo. The member of parliament for Mbukasi constituency and the Assistant Minister of Energy. That's the accused person. Yes. When was this cocktail you speak about held? Um, it was on 5th, 5th February. Um, and I remember it was on a Wednesday evening. So were you introduced to the Honorable Minister with the hope that he would enable you and point you in the right direction to get a job? Yes. Um, Angela managed to introduce me to him. She, she actually, she got me a seat at the same table with him. And she straightforward went, uh, went on and told him about me, my, my educational background, my, my interest. And he, and he looked really interested, you know, in, in everything that, that, that he was being told about me. So he, he asked for a meeting with me on Saturday at his office. Did you agree to this meeting? Of course, I did. It would have been silly of me not to. I mean, so I thought I did. Did you exchange numbers? No. Yes, I, no, I gave him my number. Um, and he told me that he could not give me his because of uh, security, some security details. And so I, um, I quickly obliged, but the meeting for Saturday 1.30 p.m. was already set. And naturally, Angela and you were pleased with the yes. development. Yes, we were. Angela told me that he, he didn't give meetings to, to, to people that quickly unless he was really interested in them. So I felt very honored. How did he relate to you at the party? He was, he was so gracious to me. 
was he as gracious on the Saturday, 8th February 2010? What happened? I reached, I reached his office at around 1.15 p.m., 15 minutes earlier than the appointed time. I didn't want to be one minute late for my big break. Um, I, I remember that there was no one at the office except a security guard who, who called him and t told him that I was there. There was absolutely no one else? Yes. And did, didn't you find that rather odd? I did, but I figured since it was a Saturday that it, it was probably okay. Peter Kimomo brought you from the reception to his office. Yes, I, I remember I asked him why there was no one else at the office and he told me Saturday afternoons were his time for his quiet meetings and to finish up any unfinished business that he had. Pam, tell us what happened while you were at the office. Give the Scott all the details and do not miss out a thing. Uh, he, he offered me a seat on a leather sofa and he asked me what, what I would like to drink and I told him that I do not drink. And then he, he poured himself a drink, I, I think it was some brandy. So I asked him about the job. He, he told me to relax and that we had the whole afternoon and evening to talk about it. That's when I became very uncomfortable, especially when he said that we had the whole afternoon and evening to talk about it. He, he came and sat down and, and put his hand on my thigh and I quickly removed it. And, and he started moving closer and I moved away. And I told him that I was not that kind of a person. And he said that in order for me to get a job that I had to, to give him something in return. That's when I knew he was not the kind of man that everyone thought he was. So I just, I woke up and, and I told him that I was leaving and I started walking towards the door. Are you okay? Before I got to the door, he... He blurts out that... That he was just testing. <laughs> and that I, I had passed his so-called test. He told me that he likes working with women with integrity. And that I was eligible to work in his team. So you went back? I stupidly did. I sat back at the sofa. I was so proud that I had passed his so-called test. <laughs> and he told me that, that there are very few women like me. I was a virgin and that I had sold myself to chastity till I got married. <laughs> he was so proud of me and he commented me, telling me that he had never slept with a virgin before. 
that his wife was not even a virgin when they got married. That's when he... He walked to the door and locked it. But Pram? Pram? Are you okay? Can you go on? Pam. Yes. 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 I can go on. He had zipped his pants. And started walking towards me. was going to happen next. I begged him not to do it. I asked him to stop, but but he kept on laughing and smiling and he just came and threw me the sofa. I struggled. <laughs> I struggled with him. <laughs> but he was too strong for me. He, he kept on slamming me down and and he yanked off my panties. He Are you sure? <laughs> you would like to request for a brief recess? No. I'm fine. I'm okay. Right. How... How long? How long did this ordeal last? cloth and told me to clean myself, <laughs> which I did, and then he gave me an envelope, 20,000 shillings, and I, I told him I didn't want his money, I just wanted to go home, but he told me that I should should learn to listen to men in authority. I refused the money. I told him I don't want it. I just want to go home. And then he had started to unzip his pants again. He told me that he'll teach me a lesson in obedience. So you took the money? I had to. I couldn't go through that ordeal again. I just took the money and left. 
Your Honor, I'd like to submit the 20,000 shillings to this court as evidence. Our objection, Your Honor, there's no way of proving that this 20,000 actually came from the accused. It would have come from anyone or from anywhere. Objection sustained. I'd like this court to note that the, the witness was given 20,000 shillings by the accused. I have already ruled on that. There's no way of proving that the money actually came from the accused. Carry on. Did you report the murder to the police? He, he told me that there was no use to going to the police because they could not investigate a man like him. I was such a simple person. So there's no way I could prove anything. So what happened next? So dirty, I was so filthy. I was. I felt so. I felt so bad. I just went home and took a shower. I just washed every inch of my body. What, what happened that uh, finally made you to report the assault? Um, my friend. Um, and my friend Angela came over, came to my place the next day, and she wanted to see if I had gotten the job. That's when I told her what happened. She, she immediately took me to Nairobi Women's Hospital and, and led her on to the police. And here you are, seeking justice. Here I am seeking justice. Seeking justice from that man who stole my womanhood. Your Honor, I'd like to submit a report from the Nairobi Women's Hospital that confirms that a sexual act took place at the time specified by the witness. Accepted. Nothing further. You claim that you are a virgin. I'm not claiming. I was. The report proves that actually a sexual intercourse took place. But you could have had sex with anyone that day. What proof do you have that you were actually raped by Honorable Kimomo? me. Do you have proof? Did anyone witness this rape? Do you have medical or DNA evidence to link the alleged rape to my client? Nothing further. Hello there, my lovely sweetheart. <laughs> when are you coming home? Even just for a couple of weeks. Well... Okay, honey, I just wanted to hear your voice. I'll call you later. How is Joe? How is she? Who? Your wife? Definitely better than Joe. He'll be all right, huh? Are you sure? I was hoping that you'd help him with this. Despite how he feels, he will do his job. I certainly hope so. You know, it's at times like this that one's professionalism is thoroughly tested. I thank you for the reassurance. I owe you one. I'll pile this with all the other debts you owe me. You better start paying up, huh? I certainly will. Perhaps today? Maybe? Maybe. Um. 
Well, what is it? I'll be in my office. I have all those... Oh, yes, back-to-back -back meetings to attend. I remember. Yeah. Generally, Peter Kimomo has always been a flirtatious man, as expected with most men in our society. Have, has he ever made a pass at you? On several occasions, yes. He would suggest a weekend getaway or even a trip to his hotel, which I would politely decline. Have you ever had an opportunity to be alone with him? Never. I was careful enough never to let that happen. Why? Because I was aware of his womanizing reputation. Why didn't you advise your friend on the same? It didn't occur to me that he will be meeting her alone. Because he told me he wanted to interview her for a job in his team, a vacancy that had just arisen. If I'd known of his plan, there's no way she would have been alone on that day. Thank you. Did you witness the rip? Pardon me? Did you witness the rip? Of course not. So what makes you so sure that she was raped by Honorable Peter Kimomo? She told me she was. Oh, just her what? Nothing further. because I'm associated with wealth. But despite all those temptations, I have managed to remain faithful to my one wife as long as we've been married. Let's get to the matter at hand. You met Pam Bremo at the youth cocktail. Yes. She was introduced to you by Angela Wamu, who is a youth development manager. That's correct. Did you promise her a job? I remember mentioning that she has very good qualifications and should drop in her CV. My staff and I would look at it and call her for an interview when the opportunity arose. You made no arrangements to meet her? Of course not. A man like me receives tons and tons of CVs in a day. I have a team dedicated to saving them and putting the good ones in a database. When the opportunity arises, your team looks into it. Precisely. All right. You made no arrangements or appointments for her to come to your office on a Saturday. Again, no. But she did show up on that day at 1.15 p.m. The security guard called me to inform me that I had a guest. And what did you do? The only courteous thing to do. I agreed to see her for a couple of minutes. What agenda did she have when she came to see you? What do you think? The same agenda young, attractive women have when it comes to rich politicians. Liar! You're a liar! Order! All right. And what do you mean by agenda? She offered her body in exchange for a job and proceeded to seduce me. You're lying! You're a liar! Order, order! Restrain yourself, young lady. You'll burn in hell. You're going to pay for this. I you will have no such outbursts at this court, irrespective of how you're feeling. Go on. Did you accept the offer? I am a man of principles. I have gotten this far in my life, my career, because I've stuck to my principles. No. I offered her a drink, yes. And we talked. I told her that selling her body wasn't the way to go. By the time we were finished, she was very grateful to me for making her realize her mistake. Did you give her 20,000 shillings? No, 
Not at all. Did you rape her? No, I did not rape her. You're lying! Raped you raped me! Yourself. He raped me and he's this denied! This is the last time I'm going to say this. Sit down. <laughs> then why do you think she went to the police and accused you of raping her? What do you think? She didn't get what she wanted. This is her way of punishing me for rejecting her. And also, she was expecting to make a quick buck. Oh my goodness. Nothing further. You swore before this court that you are faithful to your wife. Yes, I am. And you do not sleep around with young women, promising them jobs and lavish lifestyles. I don't. I'm an honorable man. So you say. So you say. Who is Nicole Lamara? I have never heard of that name. Anton? I don't know her. Samantha Keleko? Don't know. Masi Malaba? I haven't heard of that one either. Kisha Malima? Doesn't ring a bell. Hmm. What's this about? Hmm. How about Yolanda Mwasho, Josephine Katie, Joy Portio, Eunice Namaka, Eva Jomono, and Polly Chako? Am I supposed to know any one of them? Of course. You had an affair with each one of them, one after the other. Sometimes their affairs were going on at the same time. I must be a very lucky man then. <laughs> For all of these women, you paid their rent and bills. Your latest catch is Janet Mchumba, isn't it? I have never heard of that one either. These women were also spotted entering and leaving your office on Saturday afternoons. Is it a habit of yours to use your office for your sexual trysts? I have never heard or seen any of these women. And if I had, has any one of them complained that I raped her? Mr. Zoya, do you have any, any evidence to support these allegations that you're making against the accused? Your Honor, the, the women choose not to collaborate this information in writing or testify to it. And do not put us through an exercise in futility. I have no further questions for this witness. Court is adjourned till 3 p.m. In the matter of Republic versus Peter Kimomo, charged with one count of rape. This has been a very difficult decision to make. Especially since the entire case was primarily based on the complainant's oral testimony in court. The charge of rape is a very serious offense, a felony, and if one is found guilty, he risks being jailed for life with hard labor. At the same time, there is an increase in rape cases, and I always ask myself whether our women are safe enough in our country. We need to protect them from sexual predators. I'm sorry, but this court cannot condemn a man to life imprisonment without concrete evidence. Without irrefutable proof within the standards of prescribed law that is beyond reasonable doubt. I wish you did not take a shower 
immediately it happened. I wish you reported the matter as soon as it happened. I wish you saw a doctor immediately it happened. They are trained to collect evidence that can aid in such persecution. Peter Kimomo, you're hereby acquitted of the charge of rape. You're free to go. Court is adjourned. All rise. You animal! Jesus, what can I let it go? His time will come, and not even his money will help him. Very rare for you to drink alone. So, the spoils of a rapist. I let a guilty man back onto the streets, and all I get is a bottle of brandy. Care to join me? Celebrate me. This could have happened to any one of them. To any one of them. He was as guilty as they come. He raped her. He raped her. And he got away with it. He knew he was getting away with it. Joe. I saw the look in her eyes. The pain. The disillusionment of our own justice system. I mean, I saw her soul breaking again and again and again. And he just walked away. I could do nothing. You did your job. I let the man who raped her get away with it. And he just walked away. With a smug look on his face. <laughs> 